Let's look at the dashboard of Google Search Console. We will first look at the overview and the URL inspection tool. Okay. The first one overview tool. This is simply a combination of all these one. It will show overview of, you know, important things, what's happening on each tab. If you look at the first one, this is a performance tab, which is coming from this one. This is just an overview for this one. When you click on this one, it will open the individual reports. In detail, we can know that. So here it shows the clicks, total number of clicks per day basis. Okay, how many total number of clicks are coming to the website? The overall overview tab basically. And there is a breakdown of this one. So those clicks are coming from two things. One is Google search results and Google discover. Usually on Google, there are two things like Google search where the search button you search here. And there is also a Google discover feature. If you open your mobile devices on Android phones, you can see, you know, discover features over there where web stories will be uh, coming over there. So from there, how much of clicks are coming and from Google searches, how many clicks are coming, uh, this data is showing right now. So next is coming to indexing part, which is this one, overview of this one. And here we can see how many pages are being indexed, how many are you know not indexed. Uh, when you click on full report, you will be taken to this, this one. Okay, and you see a breakdown of video pages, how many video pages indexing are there. And next one is experience. You see this experience over here, this section. So this is the data uh, overview for, you know, experience. So we don't have much of a data for page experience and poor web vitals, but we do have for mobile usability, you know, how a you know, website looks in a mobile, like it, it shows good. Okay. This is an overview. And next one is enhancements. So if at all, there are any schemas applied on our website, uh, it is going to show in this enhancement section. For example, breadcrumbs, there are 17 breadcrumbs it has detected and six FAQ schemas it has detected and one site link search box detected. So this is the overview tab you can see here. Okay. And the next two tab is URL inspection. So when you click on this, this will be highlighted. So what does this mean is whichever URL which is on your website, if you want to know the performance of that website, like if it is present on Google or not, is it being crawled? When was the last crawl date? Are there any issues? What are the you know indexing issues for that? What is the page experience for that. It is looking good in mobile, any issues with the mobile so that all details can be seen using this URL inspection tool, basically inspecting like you inspect any URL basically. So that's the inspecting tool. Let's take any one of the URL from my website and inspect it. Copy link and just paste here and click the enter button on your laptop. Once you do that, it will retrieve the data from Google index. It will show how Google index is taking this, you know, crawls, this one indexes, this one, those all details will be shown here. So now it shows URL is on Google. That means this URL is already, you know, being served on Google search results. So this is appearing on Google search results. Okay. And next will be the page indexing. If you look at here, last crawl date is on 21st December. Okay. And this URL is present in the sitemaps. I'll talk about sitemaps in the next videos. Okay, this is available in the sitemaps. And next is crawl dash. So Google has two bots. One is Google bot smartphone and Google bot desktop. Now this page is being crawled as Google bot smartphone. Uh, whichever position this page comes on, on Google search, when it is searched on a smartphone, the same thing will be served on desktop as well, like crawled as Google bots. So basically two Google bots. Okay, crawling allowed. Yes, this website crawling, this link crawling is allowed. Google was able to fetch this successfully. Indexing allowed. Yes, this page can be indexed. There's no issues with that. Okay. And uh, canonical URL will be shown here since there is no other duplication of this link. So this is self declaration. The same URL will be shown here as a canonical URL. So we can talk about canonical things later in the next coming up videos. But for now, it shows that this page has no issues and it is well crawled and properly indexed. Okay, and it also shows, you know, it is very good in mobile. There is no issues with the mobiles. So you can see it here. Okay. And I come back and you can see breadcrumbs. So it has detected one rich results. We call it is rich results. There will be different schemas in one of them is uh, breadcrumbs. It has detected a breadcrumb. So you can just click on here. You can click on here and it will show what all, you know, breadcrumbs it has detected.
So this is how inspect the URL. If at all any URL is not present on this one, okay. Uh, you have to, for example, let me paste the same URL and uh, say this, for example, this, this URL doesn't exist in my website, but still, uh, just for demo purpose, I'm showing you. So just I have clicked here, URL is not on Google. For example, if any URL which is on your website, it shows this way, what you have to do is you have to simply click on request indexing. So once you click on request indexing, this message will go to Google and Google will start indexing this URL. This will crawl and index your URL and it will be appearing on Google. Okay. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content like this and share this video to your friends so it reaches to more people.